Welcome back to Plant and Planting. Today I am presenting 26 Best Easy to Grow Indoor Vines. Indoor vines can camouflage boring walls and corners to give the impression that you're living in a jungle. This makes them seem quite lovely indoors. These are the ones that you can cultivate with ease. Let's explore the best indoor vines. Heartleaf Philodendron. It is also called as Philodendron Heteratium. It is a popular indoor vine plant due to its attractive heart-shaped leaves and easy care requirements. They need bright, indirect light and can tolerate low light but will grow slower and produce smaller leaves. Water when the top inch of soil feels dry. Satin Pothose is also known as Syndapsis Pictus Exotica. It is known for its large, thick velvety leaves with iridescent splotches of silver, the Satin Pothose can grow up to 10 feet long. Provide bright, indirect light. Satin Pothose can tolerate lower light conditions but will grow more slowly and may lose some of its variegation. Water the plant when the top inch of soil feels dry. Pothose, also called as Epipremnum aureum. It is a versatile and hardy indoor vine plant, known for its attractive, heart-shaped leaves and ease of care. They'll grow in corners, hanging baskets, windows, walls, shelves. Bright, indirect light and can tolerate low light conditions and even fluorescent lighting, making it ideal for offices and darker rooms. Water thoroughly until excess water drains out. Rex begonia vine. Also known as Cissus discolor. The attractive heart-shaped leaves of Rex begonia in a climbing variety will truly look spectacular with its frosty silver patterns and red undersides. Provide bright, indirect light. Begonias can tolerate some lower light conditions, but their colors and patterns will be more vibrant with sufficient light. Keep the soil consistently moist but not waterlogged. Hoya Rope Plant Also known as Hoya Carnosa It is a popular indoor plant valued for its thick, waxy leaves and clusters of star-shaped, fragrant flowers. Can tolerate some direct sunlight, particularly morning sun. Avoid intense afternoon sun which can scorch the leaves. Water thoroughly until excess water drains out. Be careful not to overwater, as Hoyas prefer to dry out slightly between waterings. Inch Plant Also known as Tradescantia zebrina. It is a popular indoor plant known for its striking, variegated foliage with shades of green, purple, and silver. It only needs a little water, so let the soil dry out between waterings. Give your Tradescantia plenty of bright, indirect light, Swiss Cheese Plant Also known as Monstera Deliciosa It is a popular and easy to care for indoor plant known for its large, distinctive leaves with natural holes. It prefers bright, indirect light. It can tolerate lower light conditions but may grow more slowly and develop fewer holes in its leaves. Reduce watering in the winter when the plant's growth slows down. Water thoroughly until water runs out of the drainage holes. Green Coins Plant Also called as Peperomia a pepper spot. They have red stems and dark green leaves that look like coins. You can choose this Peperomia if you want an indoor vine with colorful or variegated foliage. Peperomia pepper spot thrives in bright, indirect light. It can tolerate lower light conditions but will grow more slowly and may become leggy. Water when the top inch of soil feels dry. Jasmine. Also known as Jasminum. Growing jasmine indoors can add a delightful fragrance and elegant beauty to your living space. It requires bright, indirect light and can handle some direct sunlight, especially morning sun, but avoid intense afternoon sun which can scorch the leaves. Water thoroughly until excess water drains out. Allow the top inch of soil to dry out between waterings. String of Pearls also known as Senecio raulianus. It is a unique and attractive indoor plant known for its trailing stems adorned with spherical, bead-like leaves. They need to get at least 6 to 8 hours of bright, indirect sunlight daily. Water thoroughly but infrequently. 
allow the soil to dry out completely between waterings. Velvet Leaf Philodendron is also known as Philodendron Mickens. This plant is an uncommon vining philodendron that is characterized by stunning deep green to maroon velvety leaves. It is a fast-growing plant in the right conditions and is generally easy to care for. Philodendron Mickens can tolerate lower light conditions but will grow more slowly and may lose some of its vibrant leaf color. This plant enjoys moderate to high humidity. Forest Cactus Also called as Lepismium bolivianum Forest cactus comes from the Bolivian forest and, despite its name, looks nothing like regular cacti. It is a spineless variety that makes it trail down gracefully like a vine. Place in bright to medium indirect light, avoiding any direct sun, allow the plant's soil to completely dry out between waterings. String of Nickels is also known as Dyscidia numularia. String of Nickels is just as good as the string of pearls and just as easy to look for. It's named so because the leaves it has are similar in size and shape to nickel. Place it in bright, indirect light. Avoid direct sunlight, which can scorch the leaves. Water the plant when the top inch of soil feels dry. Be careful not to overwater, as this can lead to root rot. Ensure good drainage. Monstera Peru also called as Monstera carstinianum. Deliciosa is not the only Monstera you can grow indoors as a climber. Monstera peru is just as easy to grow. Plus, it has wrinkled foliage that makes it a beautiful specimen. Provide bright, indirect light. It can tolerate lower light conditions but will grow best in brighter settings. Water the plant when the top inch of soil feels dry. Arrowhead vine is also known as Syngonium podophyllum. Arrowhead vine is a popular indoor plant known for its attractive, arrow-shaped leaves and easy care. Can tolerate low light conditions but may exhibit slower growth and less vibrant leaf colors. Avoid direct sunlight, which can scorch the leaves. Keep the soil consistently moist but not waterlogged. Black-eyed Susan vine which is also known as Thunbergia alata. It is a vibrant and fast-growing vine known for its bright, cheerful flowers with dark centers. While it is typically grown outdoors, it can be successfully cultivated indoors with the right care. It prefers for the soil to dry out between waterings and should be watered regularly. It requires abundant, bright, and direct light. String of Hearts is also called as Serapija woodii. This is a beautiful and popular indoor plant known for its trailing, heart-shaped leaves. Provide bright, indirect light. The string of hearts can tolerate some direct sunlight, especially in the morning or late afternoon. It's better to underwater than overwater this plant. During the winter, reduce the watering frequency as the plant's growth slows down. Creeping fig also known as Ficus pumila. Ficus pumila is a popular indoor vine plant known for its small, lush leaves and climbing or trailing habit. It can tolerate lower light conditions but grows best with ample indirect light. Avoid direct sunlight, which can scorch the leaves. Keep the soil consistently moist, especially during the growing season. English Ivy. Also called as Hetera helix. English Ivy is another excellent choice for an indoor vine plant. It has a classic look with its trailing vines and lobed leaves. They need bright, indirect light and can tolerate low light, but may not grow as vigorously or maintain variegation. Water when the top inch of soil feels dry. Beetle Leaf Plant Also known as Piper Beetle the beetle leaf plant is a tropical vine that can be grown indoors for its attractive, heart-shaped leaves and medicinal properties. They need bright, indirect light and can tolerate partial shade but does best in bright, indirect sunlight. Keep the soil consistently moist but not waterlogged. Baby's Tears Plant Also called as Pilea depressa 
they're great houseplants and can give tough competition to even the most popular indoor vines and climbers. They're also really easy to take care of. Pilea depressa thrives in bright, indirect light. It can tolerate lower light conditions but will grow more slowly. Avoid direct sunlight, which can burn the delicate leaves. Water the plant when the top inch of soil feels dry. Ensure the pot has good drainage to prevent root rot. Grape Ivy Also known as Cissus rhombifolia Cissus striata. Grape Ivy is a resilient and attractive indoor vine plant, known for its glossy, lobed leaves that resemble grape leaves. They need bright, indirect light. It can tolerate low light but grows best in medium to bright, indirect light. Avoid direct sunlight, which can scorch the leaves. Water when the top inch of soil feels dry. Teddy Bear Vine Also known as Cyanotus coensis. The name Teddy Bear Vine is definitely uncommon, but it lives up to the name with teardrop-shaped chocolate-brown fuzzy foliage. The leaves are so soft that you wouldn't want to stop feeling them. Provide bright, indirect light. While the Teddy Bear Vine can tolerate lower light conditions. Ensure the pot has good drainage. In the winter, reduce watering as the plant's growth slows down. Maidenhair Vine also called as Muhlenbeckia complexa. The maidenhair vine has thin, wiry, green foliage that you can use as a ground cover or to cover up a shelf. Give it proper care and it will reward you with creamy green flowers. It prefers bright, indirect light. It can tolerate some direct sunlight, keep the soil consistently moist but not waterlogged. Water the plant when the top inch of soil feels dry. Kangaroo Vine Also called as Cissus Antarctica This vine is a resilient and attractive indoor plant known for its glossy, green leaves and climbing habit. It requires bright, indirect light. It can tolerate lower light conditions but grows best with ample indirect light. Avoid direct sunlight, which can scorch the leaves. Water when the top inch of soil feels dry. Water thoroughly until excess water drains out. Wax Ivy Also known as Senecio macroglossus or variegated Algerian ivy. It is an attractive indoor plant with glossy, waxy leaves. It's appreciated for its hardy nature and trailing habit, making it a great choice for indoor hanging baskets or as a climbing plant. It requires bright, indirect light. It can tolerate low light conditions but may grow more slowly. Keep the soil consistently moist but not soggy. Indoor vine plants make excellent additions to home decor, offering aesthetic beauty and practical benefits. They can enhance indoor air quality, add a touch of greenery, and create a relaxing atmosphere. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe.